Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Mark 1 11, and a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love, and with you I am well pleased. So, still working on getting that godly mindset, I guess. It is what it is. All right. So, let's get into it. I finished all of the little. I even filled them with candy. All of the Valentines that I had to make. So I embroidered them and made the little sacks. And then I put um, candy in them. So I've got about two dozen of those. Uh, any last minute entries is all I have to do. So and I have all the stuff to do it. I just, you know, we'll have to wait and see who decides <coughs> at the last minute they're going to do it. So that's the Valentine's Day thing. I made the bag a while back. All right. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sinus drainage. This weekend, um, roommate worked. Saturday, I did some running. I went to Sam's. I needed to pick RJ up some snacks. Um, he hasn't asked me for any grocery money this year, but. He said he's got meals, just nothing extra. So I went and got extras. Um, I got his crackers, his pop tarts. I got him some Fruit Loops. Uh, got him little bags of chips and little uh, bags of cookies type stuff that he can throw in his truck. Because when he goes out to work cattle, not only is it now cold, he doesn't have any snacks put in his truck. So, and he's been going without them. He's been sick for like two weeks now. He's been feeling better. He gets a uh winter cold every year so yeah all right did that and then i finished the octopus <laughs> he's huge i love the way he came out um so and all of his tentacles will curl you can pose him because he's so fluffy i had him sitting down had all of his tentacles curled i thought it was really cute um, so I finished this one and it's ready to go to its new home. I then decided I was going to make a bag. I was going to play. And so I made a little felt bag. Um, it's got a little ducky and rainbow and, um, the duck was supposed to have two different kinds of, of one yellow and one golden. I'm sorry. My ear is dreaming. Uh, it's driving me crazy. Um, it was supposed to have gold, but I didn't have golden, so I just had yellow. So I used brown for the beak and the wings, and I literally stopped it because it's supposed to be golden, and then have here a strip of yellow. Um, well, I put purple there, so I'm learning to stop it where I want and fill in colors where I want and all of that. So, uh. The baby will have this little thing here. And then I still plan on trying to do the little onesie. We'll see how it turns out. Um, I have to gather up the stuff to do it because they say stretching knit material is the hardest. So um, I'll be gathering that stuff up and giving it a whirl before too long. Um, I'm hoping this next weekend. So I've got that one. Then we were um, iced in Sunday. And so I was like, oh, what am I going to do next? I didn't have any projects going on. I worked on my little blanket a little bit. Um, and then I thought, I'm just going to play. So I fired up the laptop. And with those patterns that I was gifted, I also found a little jellyfish. I have no idea what I'm going to do with him. Um, you can take this off. I just kind of wanted something for him to hang. And so, anyway, I made a jellyfish. Not exactly their pattern, but kind of their concept. Uh, you guys know that I don't always stick to the patterns. So, yeah. Um, I didn't put any eyes or anything on him. <coughs> I don't really think he needs it. If I did, I thought about putting two buttons here for eyes. I don't know. 
So we'll see how he does or what he does. Then um, Sunday night, I broke out and I'm just going to show you my arm. I had to go get a, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's actually going down. So I puffed all up on my arms and some on my belly. I'm not going to show you that either. Uh, we bought some wood and one of the things that we don't use is pine. Or cedar, whatever you want to say. The the sap makes me break out. And, the, and I mean like covered. When you burn it, it just... Once I inhale it, oh, it's horrible. So, anyway, um, yeah, I just had my pills here. I didn't, I called the doctor's office and you can't get in because due to inclement weather, they were closed. It iced Sunday night. And so, I didn't go to work yesterday. I'll be going today. It's not burning and it's not um, itching. So, my hydrocortisone is working and... Most of the time I go and get a shot that just makes it all stop itching and all that stuff. And it's just red for a while. But anyway, so we were uh, snowed in. And I decided I'm going to make a, what do you call it, seahorse. Of course, it's not really a seahorse. <laughs> Here's the bottom, and this is as far as I've gotten on the bottom. My laptop died at my top. So he's only at about half a body. So he's going to be like so. And then I have all the parts done. I have his little ears and his fins. Let me see here. I've got big fins and little fins. and All right, so I've got his little ears. There. And I got two smaller fins to go underneath and two bigger fins. So it'll, you know, the little fins will go like so on the same side. And then, oops. And then I decided I was going to start playing with the little mane. And they have a mane and a tail, and it done more like a horse. I kind of like it. But I don't, um, it had a horn, you can make it into a unicorn. Not what I wanted. So I just made, they had like five of these and had it really, really decked out. But I made two of these and this is going to be his mane. And yeah, there's one and two. And as you can see, I think that's going to be quite enough to because it's going to go down as his head and it's going to go down this side like so and then of course they have a couple in front with the ear you know right here and then they'll have the rest here so I think that's going to be enough I don't think that I'm going to make it as big and froofy is what they are but I kind of like him or her I don't know which it is uh I think I put the thing on backwards because these yeah these long ones are supposed to be up top anyway the long ones are supposed to be up top oops <laughs> doesn't look bad with the short ones but hey but I don't know anyway so Here's the main. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to go like that. There we go. Um, I kind of like this style of fringe. I haven't done it in a long time. So, you know, yeah. I still have a pickle that I have about that much started on. I, I need to finish it. But I got quite taken with these sea creatures. I don't know why. I just did. So, um, I've been working on those. <clears throat> and then, of course, we were staying in because of the ice and all of that. And so, uh, as the day went on, it warmed up. Uh, roommate did not go to work Monday either. Um, they closed down their jobs. So, 
sorry, in the morning, my nose runs like a banshee. Um, so that's pretty much all I worked on this week. Uh, I made some eggless peanut butter cookies. They were okay, but they didn't have enough peanut butter taste. I mean, they tasted like peanut butter, but I like mine really peanut buttery. So if I decide, and I made eggless because I didn't go to the grocery store. Um, I have found that when I was out like Sunday or Saturday, when I went out and got RJ his stuff from Sam's and we needed some stuff from Sam's too. So don't think that I just went for RJ. I was headed to Sam's. I called him. He said he had everything except for, you know, snacks. I told him I'd pick some up. That's one of the things that we get at Sam's big boxes of little bags of chips that he can throw in his truck. Um, stuff for lunches, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, when I was out doing that running, I had to go and get roommates turmeric. Um, and one other thing, and I had to get it from Walmart. I ended up having to get it from Walmart and a roommate's deodorant. Those two things I couldn't find anywhere else. It, they didn't have them at Sam's. So I ended up having to run to Walmart. I literally ran in there, got the two items and went to check out and people were like crazy. This, the ice was supposed to come and it's horrible. And all these people are trying to get stuff and get checked out. And after that, I just, I was supposed to go look for a coat at TJ Maxx. I was supposed to go by Hobby Lobby and get some other things so that I had other things that I wanted to work on. Didn't happen. Once I hit that Walmart and people were crazy, we had enough food here. We had snacks here. I left. I made one stop on the way that is like on the way out of Owasso because all that's in Owasso and I live a little north of there. I mean, it's like a 15 minute drive to a big town, not a big deal. Um, but once I left there, I stopped at Walgreens and I had decided that I was going to pick up one of those Navage. Um, I have sinus drainage. I have clogged. It is working great. I have a lot less drainage and a lot less cloggage. Um, I still wake up in the morning with one or another nostril not working, but it's getting better and it makes my ears pop, um, and gets all that crud out of there. So I'm liking it. Uh, today I did it. You're supposed to do it twice a day. I figure when I don't need it and it's not allergy season, I won't have to do it twice a day. But this morning I woke up and got a bunch of gunk out of there. It was gross to look in the bottom of that little thing and see that. It was horrible. Um, but I'm glad it's out of my head. So <laughs> just saying. Um, other than that, I didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, like I said, I worked on these few projects. Got the baby one that I was doing done. I still have to do the little t-shirt or a little onesie. And then, oops, what did I just do? Uh, yeah, not really sure what I just did. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. And like I said, we just kind of stayed in, uh, stayed off the roads. When RJ was coming through last night, he had to go pick up a horse. He's been sick and not feeling well, but he had to go pick up a horse last night and it was just rainy. Um, the ice had all melted away and it was just rainy. And he asked me if I could meet him at the, the local gas station at Pump Pete's so that he could pick up that stuff. And I said, sure. And so I took it to him and he's just blah, just sick. So he's doing better. But anyway, so that is really all that's gone on. That's all I've worked on. Um, so I'm going to get off here. I've got to get ready for work. But yeah, other than that, not much going on, you know, being stuck inside weather wise, um, breaking out. <laughs> it is what it is. It's just kind of life. So anyway, all right. Hopefully. Um, I really just don't have a project in mind. 
I'm going to say that right up front. I don't have anything in my mind that I have to be working on. Um, I don't have any patterns that I need to try. I don't have any, you know, just whatever my mind can conjure. And it's not conjuring up very much. So I've been looking at a couple of things. I cleaned out. I did take some time and I cleaned out my uh, sewing tub, um, which is great. So I've got some more tubs in the back that I need to um, clean out and see what I really need to keep. And I've been downsizing and, you know, just cleaning stuff out. But I did that. And so I'm thinking I'm going to look for another project, but I don't know what it's going to be yet. So, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Other than that, I'll still keep making little, no, I don't know what I'm going to do with the jellyfish, and no, I don't know what I'm going to do with the seahorse when I get them done. I have no idea. Oh, and I made the little dog uh, worm a little round ball, and he's chewed on it, but he hasn't chewed it up. So we'll see how long that lasts. And if they, if he likes them and doesn't chew them to pieces, Maybe I'll make some more dog toys. Who knows? All right. I'm going to get off here and go get ready for work. You guys have a great week. God bless you. And thanks for watching. Bye.